I'm going to teach you how to build a low float pre-market gap up scanner. Let's go. If you want to learn more about trading stocks or if you enjoy information like this, make sure you click subscribe and click the bell to receive notifications of new videos just like this one. Okay, let's build a low float gap scanner for the pre-market. So on your TOS, you'll come over to the scan tab. By default, it'll look like this. We'll just come to the to the right here and click these X's to clear it out because we're going to build from scratch. Okay, so I realize that some of you may not be the DIY type or maybe you're just too busy to actually take the time to build these scanners. So once you join the Discord server, link below in the description again, you can come down here to the Thinkorswim scanner section. You'll find all the scanner builds here. You can copy the link and paste it into your TOS. And I will be providing a card to the top right of your screen now to a video explaining exactly how to input shared items into your TOS. So for this scanner, we'll want to add a filter for stock. We'll come down to the last price. We'll put in our parameters. You can make these whatever you want. For me, 75 cent minimum, $10 max. We're going to add another filter for stock. We're going to come down to volume. This is going to be the shares that have traded so far in the pre-market this morning. I want a minimum of 5,000 with no maximum, but you may want to filter out some stuff that's already crowded. So maybe you put a max of say 3 million. It's up to you, whatever works for you. We're going to add another filter for stock. We're going to come down to shares, which is the float. Okay, this is going to be the ticker's float. I want a minimum of 500,000 and a maximum of 100 million. And you may want to change that to 25 million. Maybe you want 50 million. Totally up to you. This is all customizable and it's whatever works for you. Okay, so one more filter, a study filter. We're going to come down to, wait a minute, that's wrong. F filter for study, corporate actions, nope, price performance. We're going to come down to price change from the close at least 4%. And you may want to do 5%. You may want to do 3%. It's up to you. We're going to do 20 bars. Okay, so each bar represents whatever time frame you put in over here. And for this, we're going to do 30 minutes. We're going to click include extended hours since we're trying to find stuff in the pre-market. And that's it for the scanner. Now you may want to add another filter study for corporate actions, maybe earnings. <clears throat> Say you want it to have earnings in the last 10, hour, uh, 10 bars, or maybe you don't want it to have earnings in the, in the next seven bars, which in this case is day, so seven days. And that's going to be it. The next thing you'll do is you'll come over here and click save. All right, you'll save this as pre-market gap or, or whatever you want to name it and click save and you're done. All right, so you can click scan and since the market's closed right now, there's going to be a bunch of stuff that comes in here, but during the actual pre-market, you're only going to get a handful of tickers that are gapping up and these are all going to be gapping up on news or whatever catalyst that that there may be and as far as scanners go you can even come over here and add an alert whenever this scanner changes you may not want to use this for the pre-market scanner because this is going to alert you all day long and you're only interested in what's going on in the pre-market so reserve that for other scanners that you may build in the future you can also save this as a watch list so that it pops up in your in your when in your watch list. So when you get up in the morning and you open your TOS, your workspace pops up, your watch list is there. By default, you have it saved for this one. Okay, so the pre-market scan is going to pop up in your watch list and you won't even have to come to the scan tab. So that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you click like, click subscribe, share this with your friends, and join our Discord server where we have live trading every day and we'll see you in the next video.